yeah in today's class we will discuss section 8 and there is one more topic left out in the chapter supply so this concept is called section 8 deals with 8a 8b composite supply and mixed supply see the steps involved in this are as below first of all for a transaction we have to identify whether it is a supply correct whether it is a supply once it is a supply then we have to identify whether it is a supply of goods or supply of service going through schedule 2 if it is there we will find out whether it is a supply of goods or a supply of service sometimes there may be a combination togetherness one goods or more than one goods not one goods it's more than one goods or more than one service or a combination will be bundled will be sold together correct will be sold together like one book plus pen plus wallet may be sold as a package for a single price then complexity comes sir what is the complexity now this book may have different rate of tax this pen may have different rate of tax this wallet may have different rate of tax but i have only one price you understand ha huh? now which rate is to be applied whether it is 5 or 18 or 28 which rate is to be applied is matter of concern correct huh? sometimes services may also be clubbed together or more than one service may be clubbed together for single price sometimes goods plus services may be clubbed together few of them we already seen works contract services schedule 2 there it is very clear it is a service it is a works contract service and one more we have seen restaurant services where goods involved service involved but they said it is a service it is deemed to be a service and the next one we have seen construction of complex service building construction of building material involved labor involved but they said it is deemed to be a service but what about the cases which are not there in schedule 2 what shall we call it shall we call it as a supply of goods or a supply of service or a composite supply if it is a composite supply what is the rate of tax to be applied there we will go to the works contract service there will be a service code sac code there will be a rate of tax we will apply restaurant service same construction of complex service same but these type of things are not covered uh, then you have to come to section 8 where there is more than one goods are supplied or more than one service is supplied or a combination thereof goods plus services are combined together and you are selling for a single price complexity comes with regard to classification which rate is to be applied okay so now this is called bundling because you are bringing together more than one goods you are bringing together more than one service you are bringing together goods and service and putting one price uh, this can be classified into two parts one is called composite supply and the other is called mixed supply this is dealt by section 8a and this is dealt by 8b we'll see what is 8a the tax liability on a composite or mixed supply shall be determined in the following manner now what is talking about determination of tax liability 
here he is not defining what is composite supply what is mixed supply no he is trying to tell you how to determine the tax liability that means arriving at the value arriving at the tax rate multiplying the tax rate with the value and arriving at the tax liability how that's what he is telling the tax liability on a composite or a mixed supply shall be determined in the following manner namely one composite supply comprising of two or more supplies composite supply comprising of minimum two minimum two or more if it is a one there is no issue minimum two or more supplies one of which is a principal supply see composite supply comprising two or more supplies he said he is not mentioning whether it is goods or service it can be anything okay okay one of which is a principal supply he is saying there are let us say three supplies let us say one goods plus two services are bundled together but he is saying one of them is a principal supply that means the main supply essential supply for which the customer has come actually the customer has come for that purpose but you are adding few more these are incidentals accommodative supportive for this main supply okay so you are supplying more than two one of which is a uh, shall be treated as a supply of principal supply now you have product x product y product z you are selling together okay now you identified x is the principal supply now i will ignore this both 3000 rupees price for all put together there is no separate price okay now x is a principal supply the law says i will treat this entire supply entire bundle as a supply of x therefore the rate of tax which is applicable to x shall be applied for the entire bundle so now what is the rate of tax applicable for bundle is 12% now for the entire bundle on entire 3000 rupees i will apply how much 12% i am not bothered about what is the rate of tax of y what is the rate of tax of z understand that is taxation of determination of tax liability of composite supply understand composite supply now we will see what is a mixed supply mixed supply in mixed supply what happens is there will be a bundle again x y plus z okay in the case of mixed supply which is other than composite supply here also there will be a bundle here also there will be a bundle what does it mean this bundle is not a composite supply so whenever there is more than two supplies and which is not a composite supply it will become mixed supply and what is the tax liability for mixed supply comprising two or more supplies shall be treated as supply of that particular supply which attracts the highest rate of tax for example x attracts 5 y exempted z 28% but i have a single price now it will be treated as that supply which attracts highest rate of tax now what is the highest rate of tax here z so entire bundle will be taxed at that is the taxation of composite supply mixed supply now the next question is what do you mean by composite supply so far what we have discussed taxation of a term called composite supply of a term called mixed supply if it is a composite supply there will be a principal supply identify that which is essential 
and entire bundle there may be 10 products in the bundle but i will treat this entire 10 products as supply of the principal good in the bundle so whatever rate of tax is applicable for that principal good item i will apply for the entire bundle but in the case of mixed supply which is other than a composite supply i will treat as supply of that product in the bundle which attracts the highest rate of tax so if you are bundling this way even this product which is exempted is suffering 28 percent tax now let us see composite supply see composite supply has been defined under section 30 correct is that the definition is there in your slide uh, composite supply what is composite supply means a supply made by a taxable person composite supply means a supply made by a taxable person okay to a recipient okay recipient consisting of two or more taxable supplies of consisting of more than or equal to two supplies of goods or services or both or both that is a combination combination which are naturally bundled and supplied in the ordinary course of business one of which is a principal supply one of which is a principal supply that is the definition composite supply is in in composite supply what happens is there will be more than one goods or more than one service minimum two or a combination goods plus service how they are bundled naturally bundled it is quite natural in that kind of business it is naturally bundled in the ordinary course of business of such kind of trade what do you mean by naturally bundled in the ordinary course of business that means in that kind of business see the illustration given where the goods are packed packed and transported with insurance see i sold goods i sold tv when you sold tv you need to put it in the box right right and then he may ask you generally you are in vijayanagaram or some other place then they may ask you what sir please deliver it at my home if something happens during the transit who will bear the loss let us take insurance also so i am providing this package correct correct huh? these are natural in that type of business in the business of selling of televisions it may be natural it is natural correct so you expect delivery at your home Correct, huh? So, until it comes home, it should be properly packed, it should be neatly transported and it should be sufficiently insured. This is called naturally bundled. In that type of business, it is natural. It is not something, oh, you are doing like this also, you will not ask like that. If it is not done like that, oh, you are not arranging delivery? Oh, you are not arranging transportation? Will you ask or not? that is the meaning of naturally bundled the customer expects in that way the perception of the customer will be this 
it is not that customer will come and take it, the TV along with him. No, that is not the perception. Generally, this one. If he wants, sir, okay, sir, I have a car. I will take it with me. That is okay. But generally, when you go home, if it is a fridge, if it is an AC, can you take it along with me? You? No. You are expected to deliver at my home. You buy AC. You buy an AC. So, along with AC, it will be packed. Then it will be transported. Can you take it along with you to home? No. Then there will be installation. Then there will be demo. Correct? Huh? See here. Goods, goods, service, transportation service, installation service, demo service. Combination they, of goods and services. Is it natural or something unique? It is very natural. In the ordinary course of business of selling of air conditioners, selling the AC, transporting it to the place of the customer, installing at the place of the customer, showing the customer, sir, how to operate the air conditioner is natural. If you do not do that, that is unnatural. Sir, I will only sell the AC, rest I do not want to do anything. Will you go there? Will you go there? No, I will not go there. I will go to somebody who is doing like this. Correct? Correct? Uh, is it naturally bundled or not? Uh, that is the concept of naturally bundled in the ordinary course of business. Similarly, yesterday we have seen restaurant service. You go or you are going to the restaurant for having a breakfast. But at the door there will be a person who will open the door for you. Hmm? For you eating the idli, is it necessary? Huh? But it is this additional thing. It is extra that they are providing to attract more customers. Then there will be a person who will tell you, sir, how many people? Okay, you please sit here. Then waiter comes, he will take the delivery. Okay. Then all the rest will come. Then you will have a finger bowl, you will get an AC, you will have a maybe live music. Okay. So these are all bundle. Correct. So many things are bundled, correct? Bundle. But it is defined in Schedule 2. It shall be deemed to be a supply of service. So, no issue. Otherwise, I had to come to Section 8 and identify whether it is a composite supply or mixed supply. Similarly, construction. But there, that is a definition. Similarly, works contract. But there, there is a clear guideline whether it should be treated as a supply of goods or supply of service. But other than that, when there is a combination like this, then you should come to section 8 and see whether it is fitting in the definition of composite supply or mixed supply. Then we are discussing what is composite supply. If they, there is a bundle more than two, one, more than one goods or more than one service or a combination thereof and they are naturally bundled in the ordinary course of such business, it is quite natural in that business. I will give one more example. We are trying to conduct a seminar or we are, there is a marriage of our family member coming days. So, we want to celebrate it in a hotel, in a banquet hall. You will go to a hotel. You will go to a banquet hall. Uh, what all you want? Firstly, primarily what you want? What for you are going? Banquet hall. See here, let us also discuss principal supply whether there is a principal supply or not. In this, what is the principal supply? TV. That is the purpose for which you went there. It is not for transportation or you went for transport or you go for box. Huh? No, you want to buy TV. Similarly, here you went for what? That is all you understood. One of which is a principal supply, the main supply for which you went. All rest are accommodative, supportive, ancillary, incidental and necessary also, which will, which will enhance the value of the AC. Otherwise, what you can do is, you can go buy the AC, you bring it home with your own vehicle. 
okay you take transport you install yourself or you call somebody else to install that is also possible but that is not natural that generally don't happen it happens huh? no generally we will expect boss you come neatly erect it test it give it to it should be in ready to use condition similarly tv also i don't know how to use the tv i don't know how to fix the tv to the wall so everything they will do so there will be a principal supply and what is the taxation as per ata the rate of tax as applicable to principal supply shall be applicable for all the bundle okay na so now coming back to one more example banquet hall we have taken now they will you will also ask sir are you arranging the food in your hotel otherwise i have to call somebody else okay is yes, sir we are having food per plate 300 rupees 400 rupees so you are arranging water also of course sir we are arranging water also so you are arranging a screen yes sir so you are arranging a mic yes sir so you are arranging a flower decoration yes sir so you are arranging lighting yes sir you are arranging chairs x sir sir evening we want snacks also yes sir evening we want tea also yes sir see is it natural or something unique natural. it's natural when you are hiring a banquet hall for a function these are all natural it is naturally happen you are you expect that otherwise you got to go to, for 10 people for this 10 services but what is the principal supply banquet hall for what you went there banquet hall otherwise you would not have at all gone to that hotel that is composite supply you understood clear so in a composite supply there will be one, more than one goods or more than one service which are naturally bundled in the ordinary course of such business it is quite natural only then it is called composite supply one of them is a essential supply principal supply without that there is no supply at all okay see that taxable person principal supply means what the supply of goods or services which constitute the predominant element of a composite, composite supply and to which any other supply forming part of that complex supply is a just ancillary incidental transportation incident insurance incidental packing natural fixing very natural demo ultra natural correct huh? so that is composite supply any doubts in composite supply okay see in composite supply there will be more than one supply of goods or service or both in combination these elements are inherently linked by default okay linked and typically offer together generally they are put together in the suppliers regular course of business principal supply refers to the main goods or the main service that the recipient primarily desires ac tv that is the banquet hall is the principal supply the other elements act as supplementary complements that enhances the value of the principal supply and the main thing there will be a single price we will come to this a bit later after discussing this is important there will be a single price assume there are different prices sir tv with package 1000 rupees transportation i will charge 100 rupees installation i will charge 500 rupees installation plus demo okay it cannot be called as a bundle itself you are separating you have a clear picture what is what though you are selling together you have a separate price you have a separate line item and in the tariff there is a separate code for tv there is a separate code for transportation there is a separate sac code for installation services and there is a separate rate tv separate rate transportation separate rate then you apply separate rates you need not come to section 8 you need not come to section 8 understand yeah so that is what is composite supplies when there are different components of prices there is no issue 
So, we have given few examples. We can tell many examples. You are flying. You are flying means in a flight you are going. 5 hours journey. Generally, do you expect some food, food items from the airlines or not? Huh? No, it is not that everybody in the flight is fasting. You, when you 5 hours, 6 hours journey means you obviously you expect some tea, coffee, food. Okay. So, now you are flying. That means the airlines is providing you a service called transportation of passengers by air. That is a different category with 5 percent tax rate under the GST tariff. Now, <clears throat> they are supplying food also in the in flight. Together, they charged for you already in the ticket. Now, they are supplying, it is an outdoor catering applying 18 percent rate of tax. Now, the question comes, examination questions, determine the tax liability. There is a single price for transportation of in air and outdoor catering, in flight food servicing. Which rate is to be applied? Which rate? Are you flying for uh, eating food? No. no. What is the principal supply? Travelling. Travelling is the principal supply. It is not that for he having idli, I want to have idli in middle of the air. Is that? No. That, may, that means you have some something wrong with you. So, your principal supply is transportation of passengers by air. Serving the food is? So, it is a composite supply or not? Yes, it is natural. It is natural. It is quite natural in the ordinary course of that business to serve the food during the journey. It is a composite supply. And what is the principal supply? Transportation by air. So, the rate of tax applicable for transportation by air is also applicable to outdoor catering. Though that is 18 percent, though this is 5 percent, entire bundle will suffer only? Uh, that is the beauty of the composite supply. You understand? No, no, it is not that one hour journey, half an hour journey. It is natural. They will give something. See, initially, you forget about now. Now they are not giving even a water bottle. When we started travelling in 2005-2006, chocolates, complimentary food, many things. Now they are not even giving a water bottle. Even 250 ml also they are not giving. You have to ask if you need some water in the cup, cup of glass. That is a different story. And in flight, you are buying separately. We are not talking about that. Try to understand. What is the last line? When there is a single price. Understand? If you read every line what we are discussing, all doubts will be vanished. If there is no single price, then obviously it is not a composite supply. For food you have a separate price you are collecting, charge that rate. For flight journey you are separating separate charge, charge. Luggage you are separate, charge. Got the point? Yes. Hiring, hiring of Kalyan Mandapam we discussed. Similarly, you go to a hotel. You, you, you stay, let us say you go to an hotel and stay there. He says, sir, only room we are providing, nothing else, not even blanket. Because you have come for what? Stay. 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 You stay. You stay. We do not say that you do not stay. Enjoy the sea view. Sir, no, sir, I want, uh, I did not bring my brush, tongue cleaner, etc. So, is it natural or not? Yes, they will provide all this toiletry preparation, soap, blankets, towels, internet, Wi-Fi, TV, AC. Is it natural or non-natural? Natural. You can't say, oh, you are separating, uh, you, you, there are so many things. You segregate all the tariff. 7,000 rupees I am paying, you segregate this. There is one show cause notice recently for our client on this aspect. They said, you are providing Wi-Fi free of charge. You are not charging separately, therefore, you pay tax on that. Or, you reverse the concerned ITC relating to 
that exam supplies. When we come to ITC, you will understand. Then we fought, madam, this is composite supply. There will not be a separate price for Wi-Fi, towels, soap, tongue cleaner, AC, blanket, pillow. No. This price is for the entire bundle. And it is a composite supply. And it is natural. It is natural in that type of business to provide like that. Correct? So, the rate of tax applicable for room tariff is applicable for all these elements because it is a composite supply it is because it is naturally bundled and what is the principal supply? Accommodation, stay. So, what is the rate of tax applicable for accommodation is applicable for the entire bundle. Okay. Now, Now, let us go to mixed supply. Section 8B. We read section 8B. What is section 8B? Mixed supply. Right? There they said, in the case of mixed supply, where there is more than one goods or service or combination is provided, the rate of tax, the product or the service in the bundle which attracts the highest rate of tax, which attracts the highest rate of tax, shall be applied for the whole bundle. Assume for the time being, this is not a composite supply. And let us say AC 28, packing okay anyway, transportation 5, installation 18 percent. Assuming this is a mixed supply, then the entire bundle will be taxed at Okay. Now, let us see. Next slide. Mixed supply means two or more individual supplies of goods or services or any combination thereof by a taxable person for a single price where such supply does not constitute. That is all. So, if you understand what is composite supply, it is over. You got the point? The bundle which is not a composite supply will become mixed supply. So, if you draw a flow chart, is there a bundle? Yes. No means you go and apply the rate of tax applicable for that particular good or service. Yes. Next is whether it is a Composite supply. Yes. Then, 8A. What is 8A? Apply the rate of principal supply for the entire bundle. No. No means what? Composite supply, no means it is what? It becomes mixed supply. It goes to 8B. That is all. So, what you have to see is whether it is a composite supply or not. If it is not a composite supply, it will automatically become a mixed supply. In <coughs> Fully guy put me, na? I think he mobile pattern. Kasi bosta de? Aap? Anta percentage on me? 